Good morning, Maka 77. Today we're going to continue on in our series, Seven Steps to Move from Surviving to Thriving. We are on day two of victory. This is the last of our seven steps, and I have gleaned so much from this study. I'm believing that each of you have also, that God is taking us from a place of just merely surviving to thriving in Him. And guys, this is what God meant for us all along. My pastor says that often, that God didn't redeem us and save us for us to live a life where we are barely getting by, where we are struggling each and every day in the cares of this world, being entrapped by them. That is not His intention for us. His intention for us is for us to know who we are in Him and to thrive in that, to be everything that He created us to be. So today, we're going to talk about that, about what that looks like. Now that we've walked through this season of consecration, what it looks like to live that life of thriving and to be in that superior position. Because that's what we're going to be discussing today, that God has aligned His will, His purpose, and His plan in our life. Our flesh has died out. We can now clearly see what God is calling us to do. And just like Crystal mentioned on Thursday, there is a confidence that is birthed in that. The more we spend time with Him, the more confident we are going to be that we have heard His voice. You will see confirmation all around you, just like in the story that she shared about preparing her lesson and the other teacher prepared the same lesson. He will give you that confirmation that you are walking in His will. You are hearing His voice. You are aligned with Him. It's no longer about our will. That's the cool thing my pastor said last night. When we truly consecrate and align ourselves with Him, our will is changed to His will. But that is what we long for in our life. Our flesh is no longer pulling and trying to tug us away from what God is calling us to do. We are 100% sold out to what God has for our life. We are truly picking up our cross and following Him. Him. And there's a cool thing that I want you guys to see about this superior position. What happens when we are in alignment with what God has for our life? So as we draw closer to Him, His light illuminates on our life. Okay, because we're in alignment with Him. We're not bogged down and distracted and off in the shadows. We are truly in alignment to what He is calling us to do. And we're walking forward with boldness and confidence. And if you'll look at the end of Daniel 12, it gives us a wonderful scripture about what happens when that light shines through us. So Daniel 12 and 3 says, And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Guys, we are that light. We are His light in a dark world. He is shining through us because we have allowed our flesh to be sacrificed. So it is no longer us who lives, but Him who lives in us. There is a scripture that Brother David brought out last night in his message that I want to read to you guys. And this is really neat how this happens. When we are in alignment with Him, we are right there with Him. And if you read in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ. Guys, when it says be in Christ, that is our place 
that we are currently residing, we are there with Him, allowing Him to use us for what He has planned for our life. It says, He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That is how we are thriving. We are no longer following the old selfish ways. We have been made new in Him. Our eyes have been opened, and now we're going to take that revelation and we're going to bring revelation to others who need that. And Brother David said this statement last night, when our vision of ourself aligns with His vision, we will go beyond. And that is what I am believing. This is the year of amazing things. And we are going to see those amazing things because of our superior position. In the book, Living Among Lions, the Benham brothers say, when we serve with excellence, God puts us in the presence of kings, of people of influence, promoting us as he wills. But we must remember God doesn't call us to be the best, but to only give our best. That is that superior position. We're not going to have to orchestrate these things. God is going to give us influence. He is going to give us those divine appointments. He is going to place us in the presence of those that have a voice in our culture so that we can help bring that revelation to them. We can help turn those hardened hearts towards God. We can be used as those instruments because we are aligned with His will. And I'm so excited to see what God is going to do with us in this process as He uses us and places us in the presence of people with influence, God's light is going to illuminate the darkness around us. Thank you all for joining us on this study, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow as we conclude this series with the last day of victory. But if you'll join me now, I just want to pray over each of us that if you're struggling today, if you're not seeing that alignment I want to pray that God illuminates your eyes, that through this time of consecration, that He has placed you right where you need to be for such a time as this. God, we love you, and we're so thankful, Lord, for what you are doing, Lord. God, how you have taken us over these last 20 days, and you have molded and shaped us, Lord. God, you have created us in your image. You have took things of old and made them new, Lord. God, and we want to walk forward in that with boldness and confidence, Lord. God, to what you are calling us to do. God, knowing in that alignment, Lord, that your light shines through us to a dark world, Lord. God, I pray that each and every one of these that are listening today feels that, Lord. God, they know that you are moving through them in ways they have never experienced before. God, I pray over those divine appointments, Lord. God, that we will see them and we will grasp them, knowing, Lord, that you have placed favor upon our life because we have been obedient to you and that we will walk forward with that with boldness, Lord, and courage, Lord. God, speaking truth, Lord, allowing our lives, Lord, to bring revelations to others, Lord. God, we thank you for it and we bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day.